The reciprocal rule is one uh, shortcut method for derivatives that you might see or you might not see depending on your professor. Uh, it's the one that I see the most least or the least taught, but I suppose it's worth mentioning. So you have the reciprocal rule when you have 1 over some function x. Uh, so you could always use the quotient rule on this, but the special case is when it's just 1 over this thing. And it says if you want to take the derivative of 1 over some function, you write a negative sign, you put the derivative of the function itself on the top, and the original function on the bottom squared. For instance, if I wanted to take the derivative of 1 over the quantity x squared plus 1, using the reciprocal rule, I'm going to take the derivative of this thing, the reciprocal rule says I write a minus sign out front, I take the derivative of this thing by itself, if I were to use the power rule on x squared plus 1, that derivative would be 2x, and then it says I copy that function on the bottom, I'll rewrite x squared plus 1, and I'll write it quantity squared. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so I write a minus sign, I take the derivative of the denominator and I put it on top, and then I rewrite the denominator with a squared. So you could have used the quotient rule on this. You could have also rewritten this and done it with a chain rule. So whichever you prefer.